all set, guys? Yep. Yeah. All right, so just to start off, Darren, uh, another clean sheet for the back line of the whole team, uh, playing in front of 5,418 fans. Can you just kind of talk about the team performance tonight? First, thank you to the fans. Uh, unbelievable, man. We're so lucky to have the city of Richmond behind us. Um, we created chances, particularly at the end, that it was, sure would have been great. Luke Pavon got up, snap header, and knew and made a great save. Did the same thing on Ani. You know, Emmy had the look early. You know, with that, with the ball that came across. Just, just uh, we're still working to get into our rhythm in the attack. But I thought we played very well tonight. Yeah, and there, there was a lot of instances in the game where they were finding space out on the wings, um, and then able to then cycle the ball back in. Can you just kind of talk about the success that you know the midfield and the forwards were having up top? Yeah, I don't, I, you know, our ball speed in the first half, I, I don't think was as fast as it needed to be. We would rotate out one side, and as we were coming back, we were a little bit quicker. We would have been able to exploit an overload on the weak side. I think we had moments where we did, uh, but it, it's still got to improve, and we got work to do. Darren, they didn't have a shot on target. I think that's three clean sheets early on in the season, right? No. Yeah. Right now, four. We've got to be happy with where the back line's at, right? Yeah, Akira, Will Palmquest, they've both been magic, okay? Um, Dak and Ani are as good a center back pairing as you get, and the outside backs have been very, very good. Zach has been himself. So we're doing a good job of staying in games. We just got to get across that line. It's still early, and we have some places to go, but uh, uh, very happy for them. You touched on it, the string of corners there at the end. It, it felt like a goal might have been coming. What you see in that sequence? Yeah, our game model lends itself to earning corner kicks, right? Over the last four years with me here, it's, we get a lot of corner kicks based on how we play. Um, I, it's unfortunate that we didn't execute, you know, because we wanted to nick the game, but uh, uh, it is what it is. Five offsides, were they playing a relatively high line? How did they kind of bait you guys into, into those scenarios? I don't think they were baiting us. I think we were just a little undisciplined in watching the line. You know, I don't... Uh, I'll watch the video to see, uh, but it's unfortunate. We talked about it before the game. We need to watch the line because they play a high line. Um, I, I think a couple of them may or may not have been offsides, but league one, man. So as the team now heads on to the road, Coach, um, what's the message to the players um, after tonight's draw? Uh, that I was very proud of them, that they worked very, very hard. You know, We had 49 final third entries. We touched the ball 15 times in the opposition's 18. We got to do a better job of having quality in the final third to finish. Right? That's got to come up. But anytime you have Emiliano Terzaghi on your team, if you can give him service, you're going to get what you need. And we just got to do a better job of it. And uh, well, that's what we're working on. So, you've uh, you know, had uh, Shao Gomera come into the midfield last couple of games and replace uh, Vignal's uh, A. Uh, give us an update on the status of Neil and B. How have you, uh, you, know, you know, felt about you know, Shao's contribution in the last you know, two games, the last three games, really? Uh, with Neil, uh, he got clobbered against Colorado, and it's kind of a lingering thing. Uh, he probably could have played tonight, but we're being cautious with him because we care about him. That's how we do things here. Uh, and the beauty is you have Zhao Gomero who plugs in and is another creator. Zhao's still growing into being in League One and being a pro, uh, but he's been great. He's been really, really good. Tonight, he's got a little heavy-legged at the end, but I'll tell you what, Chandler O'Dwyer is also starting to step up and play. So when we start to have more competition in positions, it's better for everybody. Also, I guess you go. Yeah. Excellent. Darren, thank you so much.